the horror. <laughs> what the heck? Like, how does this happen? I want to open it up to show you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is another mid-century home video. Um, we're not doing something very glamorous or fun with design today. As you can see, we're working on the toilet. If you guys saw my last video, I showed how I cleaned up this floor. It looks amazing now, so make sure you check that out. And uh, let's go ahead and get into what happened with this toilet seat, shall we? Because obviously it's broken. <laughs> Fool me once, fool me twice When you're hiding things, might as well be lies Can you ever get it right? Okay, so I got some gloves because toilets are gross. I have not cleaned it yet. We're gonna do that, don't worry. But uh, as you can see, the toilet seat is no longer on the toilet. And uh, no, I did not break it. <laughs> you can see here, hopefully. Look at that. It's just completely broken off from where the hinges are on the toilet. And the story here is we hired someone to come clean the house because the house has quite literally been sitting here for like 20 years. Yes, just sitting here. Um, yeah. Anyway, and she was in the bathroom and here cleaning and she didn't have a ladder or anything and she was supposed to be cleaning like everything. Like there's a cabinet above me show it to you oh. see there's a cabinet that she was probably trying to clean and I'm guessing that she stood on the toilet but of course that's not the story she told us she told us she just called me in here and she was like did you know that your toilet seat is broken and like handed me the toilet seat and I was just like no I didn't know it was broken and something happened she's like um I was just trying to clean the toilet and it was already broken and I was like okay <laughs> like what are you supposed to do like okay so yeah that's how the toilet seat got broken that's where we are now i ordered a new one like a week ago then we had an ice storm and so it's like held up in the mail it's supposed to actually come today most of the ice has melted so hopefully it gets here and we'll get this installed today otherwise i'll see y'all tomorrow so anyway so let's take the back off, like let's take the rest of the seat off. I had to actually look up how to do this, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today. put my hair up so we can get into this. Let's take this lid off. <laughs> so as you can see, there's these little tabs here. This is a Bemis, see, a Bemis toilet. I think almost everyone has this brand because they, their website is literally the toilet company or something like that. Um, anyway, so it's pretty easy. All you have to do is lift this tab up, you see? And then there is like a place for a screwdriver. And then if you look underneath, it unscrews that there. So I just need to go get a screwdriver head, hold the bottom and unscrew each one of these. So you just have to get, you just have to get your fingers down under that and then just lift it up. All right, let's go find the screwdriver. Okay, I got the biggest screw nut that I had. This was a seven. So let's go ahead and do this. So I'm just gonna turn to the left. That was really easy and it is unscrewing. I think I'm gonna have to get under there and hold the tab so it actually unscrews. So let me put this on the tripod. So what I'm gonna do is hold that bolt down there while I unscrew from the top. I'm gonna do that on both sides and then we'll be able to just lift the toilet lid off. Okay, so I got the bolts off. As you can see, it is just these two pieces here in each one. 
so I had this is what I was unscrewing. Hopefully you can, can see that. And then I have this little thing that was going up on the bottom of it underneath the toilet. So I was just separating these two. And so there was one on each side. And now I can take the lid off. I'm gonna move these so they don't fall into the toilet. <laughs> Let's move these somewhere else. Okay. So, let's go ahead and take the toilet lid off. And it should be easy. It should just lift up. Sticky. What? That's it. How easy. I so I want to show you that is what it looks like without the toilet seat. Um, as you can see, it's actually not that gross. It's not that clean, but yeah, I'm going to clean this with like Clorox wipes or Lysol wipes. The inside of the bowl I've already tried to clean. Um, I might try vinegar today, but we're just going to concentrate mainly on cleaning this off wiping off the tank, getting it all sanitized so that it can actually use this bathroom and not feel gross. All right. So while I work on that, we're going to hope that the toilet seat arrives and then we'll install it. So I'll see you guys soon. Stand before you, I present to you a clean toilet. Oh, it's so sparkly and clean. All right, so I finally finished cleaning the toilet. It was dirty, but it really wasn't that bad. I mean, it wasn't that bad. Um, so now we continue our wait for the toilet seat, and then I'm gonna hop back on here and show you guys how to install a toilet seat. One thing that I did notice is that the actual toilet is Briggs brand, which I thought was really funny because I went to school with someone, with someone by the name of Briggs. Wait, shoot, it was Riggs, not Briggs. Never mind. I was gonna be like, did his poppy make this toilet? That's kind of funny. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> This is editing Jesse. I thought I'd hop on here while we're waiting for the toilet seat to arrive so I can tell you which one I ordered. So let's go ahead and take a look. So I got the same brand as the current toilet seat. It is a Bemis toilet seat. And as you can see here, this is the one that I ordered, the 500EC346 round closed front toilet seat with cover. And the color that I chose is called Biscuit. Um, you can see there's a cotton white, which looks pretty white. There's a Biscuit, which looks off-white, which it actually looks more like the way I thought my toilet looked. But in real life, as you will see, it's more so an off-white. So just forewarn, if you need something that looks more like a tan, I think you should probably order this bone color. I haven't reordered yet, but to just know that this bone is more like what you might think the biscuit is. And the biscuit is more of an off-white. Anyway, this is a basic no frills toilet seat. There's literally no real perks. I think they call this an easy on off. Um, let's look at some of the other pictures here. Like these little hinges on the back are supposed to be easy to remove the toilet seat for cleaning, but it's not a slow close or anything like that, but it, it was only $15. So I mean, if you're on a budget, then go for it. And then like, you can also search on their website. So let's hop on to Google real quick. 
and see if we can find it on the manufacturer's website. Yeah, toiletseats.com. <laughs> can you believe that? Then that is their address. Okay, so here's the toilet seat on their website and you can't even buy it here it looks like, but it shows all of the colors that are available and here it says you can get it in almond or you can get it in biscuit. So I mean maybe I really need almond, I don't know. So I think the toilet seat is arriving now so I'll go ahead and show you what color I got and how it compares to my toilet and you let me know which color maybe I should order. Should I get the almond, should I get I mean, I don't know, like, or should I get the bone? I think that's what they had over here if I still want to get it uh, from the same place. I could get the bone color. Anyway, let's go ahead and get the toilet seat and get this installed. <laughs> the toilet seat proudly made in the USA let's get it out of this box and onto the toilet all right we've got the new toilet seat as you can probably see is it's a little bit lighter than the toilet but for the moment I don't really care let's go ahead and get this installed I might return and try to get another color stay tuned I'll post a video if I do but so it has these tabs they are slightly different from the toilet that we had before. Instructions do not come with this, so make sure you pay attention to what I'm doing. See, these look a little bit different, but I'm thinking that they lift up all the same. Well, how do we get this to lift up, you guys? I'm trying. There must be like a, some sort of trick. Oh, I'm thinking that these don't come off, you guys. Okay, we just put the bolts in and then I think it walks around the top. Okay, so I'm gonna set this back down. Okay, so let's just work on getting in these bolts. So it's pretty much the same system. I'm going to stick this bolt right here. Remember we cleaned this earlier and then we're going to put this on the bottom and just screw it up, I guess. I think you have to do the larger side needs to be like this. So there's this wider side, make sure that is up. All right, yeah, it's starting to work now. I'll show you what I'm doing. So what you have to do is stick the bolt in there. It's coming out the bottom. So I'm just screwing that black nut until it goes all the way up to the top and this is secure. And then I'm gonna do it again on that side. The sun is up, no time to ponder in the shade. Come tight yet so I've gone to get my screwdriver and I'm gonna try to tighten it like this yeah. this works I'm using the same size I used to take the toilet seat off that was on here before so the size has not changed over the years. And number seven, this shape. Okay, so I'm getting there. It's almost tight. Okay, that feels good. Let's do this side. Gotta go to the other side. Just holding the nut at the bottom while I tighten the screw. All right, feels good. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, so let's go ahead and let's try to pop this toilet lid on here. I think I just lay it on top of these bolts. So there's no flap, I just lay it on top there. And then I think I just twist it to where it says lock, which is to the right. So is it on there? Nope. <laughs> It's not on there yet. Okay, so let's look. I've got to press that onto there and then lock it. So you see how this says, can you guys see that that says unlock and lock? So it's unlock and lock. So let's do unlock on both and then try putting it in. Okay, that works so much better. So now it's flush. And then I'm gonna have to sh get the camera to show you guys how to do this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is you lift it up so they're kind of flat. You press while it's unlocked and then just turn it to the right. So you'll feel it lock and do that on both of them. So I'm shaking it, it's not moving. So I think we have a working toilet seat, you guys. <gasps> Look at that. We've got a new toilet seat. It works and it's clean. Look at that. Now, is it gonna come off? Oh, it did. Let me try again. you all that's it as you can see i've got myself a new toilet seat i mean it looks like a pretty close color until you come down here <laughs> again i might change the color i'll let you know make sure my biggest tip is you have to turn the toilet seat like completely perpendicular to the toilet base and push down until you hear it snap like it needs to snap onto those two uh screws slash bolt things and then lay the toilet seat down and turn the little uh, lock to unlock, turn it over to lock, which is that direction. It has a little picture to make it easy for you too. Anyway, if you guys have any trouble, you have any questions, let me know down in the description. I'll do my best to answer. Until next time, join along so you can watch the transformation of this bathroom. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Yeah. I've been